Okay, now welcome to this updated version of the rebuild featurette. Okay, I want to pass through. I wanted to create. So I'm working on the front bulkhead and I'm going to restore some uh, rot as well as build a pass through door. And so having a pass through door, this is the original uh, window that was there. It was just a little slider window for ventilation. And so, um, I'm just, I put that there so you can understand and see exactly <clears throat> what I'm doing. Okay, Neil. With the past. this all apart. And so, I've marked where I think the window's going to come to. The window's going to come to here. And I'm going to take a, make a stud that goes all the way to the top. And then I'll just cut this out straight and this is going to be the bottom and I'll just cut along here. Now our project for today is I have been planning on doing this for a long time and I have cut out my hole here. So I mean not cut out my hole I have drawn out my marker and I've discovered this camper has a nasty little secret. Okay termites. That's what my camper has it has termites and I'm going to try to get some good bug spray try to kill some of these termites and get rid of them. This corner here is nasty. You can tell. Look, see. See, this is all coming apart here. See these campers. I'm telling you, there's lots of places on these campers that need a lot of work and stuff. A lot of repairing, replacing. So, I'm going to try to get as much rid of as much rot as possible, but I'm not going to tear the whole camper down to do it. Okay. I'm making this window bigger so I can have a pass-through so I can crawl from the camper to the truck when my camper's on the truck so I'm gonna do something with the window maybe a window that slides open because this is the main thing that a camper van has that a truck camper doesn't have and so that's how I want to kind of solve that problem and make it you know compete with the camper van so and so and I've taken my siding off and I've cracked it down at the bottom but I think that when I get it back together put a little silicone on it and it'll be okay and I discovered this stuff is stuff you can get at Lowe's, so to put on the outside of a camper. It's um, it was replaced and repaired at one time because originally it had siding on it like this, like um, the fiberglass corrugated siding, and it was repaired at one time. Maybe it got busted because it can crack really easily. It's not like aluminum trailer siding. You can see this piece back here is cracked, and I'm gonna take it off and bondo it from use fiberglass filler from the back side of it and you know try to smooth it over as best as possible so I'm gonna get on with this I'm just in the process of cutting out my hole here for my window and I'm gonna use solid I think the doors are gonna be bifold it's gonna be folded up like a closet door and just fold up like that out of uh, plywood painted plywood with foam board inside for insulation and it can slide open and I can crawl through hey okay, now I have cut out my hole for my pass-through and so I'm going to be reusing some of these boards and you can see I think a person can, small medium sized person can climb through here. I don't think it's that much trouble. So. Okay. I'm backtracking and so <clears throat> I'm going backward. Here I am building the insulated doors for the pass-through. And this is my pass-through insulated doors. You can see I frame those one inch thick. The plywood on either side glued together. And there is my door in place. And I'm going, after the fact, I'm going to rewind and go backward. Okay, there's the door, pass-through door from the inside. But um, I'm going to rewind and, and show you how I, on the left-hand side, there's a panel. I put some trim pieces around the... So I'm in the process of Dr. Nipple, and there it is, finished, the finished product, before I repainted the inside, painted okay, that wall. I have all so. of my insulation in my front panel. You can see it, and I sealed up my little access service door and stuff like that. I'm not going to access that unless I absolutely have to. So the next step here, I've got this stuff back together. The next step is to clean this thing. I put this back on there and tack it into place first. Then I'll use some silicone to put the moldings back on. I don't have any butyl tape right now, but I'm going to seal it up this way and get it done this way first. And I need to fix this front and get this fixed back on right. This front piece isn't exactly on right. I want to 
to share something with you all. Um, this is the front area. Now there's been a few termites in here, but you know, I'm going to make a little access hatch here uh, to get into here because, you know, these pipes in here, um, they might have to be replaced, this thing here, to be able to get into here and to, you know, do any work that may be need, needing to be done in here. This uh, wood in here had termites and it was rotten and it did not have any structural, any structural integrity. Okay. This piece down here, this is your, you know, along the bottom that your jacks are mounted to, your main support uh, beam down uh, that goes down the length of the camper. I'm going to be patching that up and cutting this off and getting rid of any wood that had termites in it. So, And I want to put a nice uh, thick board up and down here and attach to this all the way up here to the base of your bed. So it will be supported again so that will be more structural integrity. So I'm going to replace anything in here. Okay, I got my hole finished and prepped and ready for my door. And I'm going to make a bifold door that folds inward. Um, because if I fold it outward, then the hinge would be on the outside and someone could take the hinge loose and get in. So I'm going to have it fold inward. So that's how I'm going to do that. And here is the board. This piece was inside of here, and I wanted to let you see it. You can see how it looks, where it's really just full of, you know, it's not really, doesn't have any structural integrity. So um, I've got some scrap wood under here, and I've got some wood in the garage in there so I can use that and I'm going to go ahead and make this door now. Okay now I found more rot and all of this you see excuse me and you can see in here these little places where it's been eaten out inside by the um by the termites so this is here too these little um, places up in here grooves running through the middle of the wood that's where the your little termites were and I'm going to try to get back in here to this wood and get all of the rotten wood and infected wood out to make it completely solid I want to make it solid now I have gotten most of the rotten wood out of here and now so I'm going to start Working on the rebuilding, putting this back together. I'm going to put extra supports in here just to make it, you know, structurally sound. And so, I've got all the, most of these screws out that need to come out. So, I'll go ahead and get started. Okay, now, this is the reframing of this corner. We had some termites in here and we had some rot in here uh, where the roof in the cab over ran into the floor of the cab over. And this ran down into this wall, rotted this wall out. So, when I'm in the process now, I wanted to show you all. I'm in the process of beefing up the insulation in this camper because normally a camper like this, if you don't know, um, these um, are called the side wings here, and these are called the box, you know, side uprights here. So these side wings and these uprights are not insulated. And so um, what I'm doing is beefing up the insulation and actually adding insulation. Now that white powder stuff is really, what it really is, is termite feces. So, you can see where I was inside the camper on a previous video. I've um, been insulating these uprights. And I couldn't get back here. And the reason why was because this was an enclosed cabinet. What I want to do here is I want to make a little access door in here, a service door. And just have it screwed together so you have to take the screws off to access the, the access door. So the service door, that'll be a very big... Um, improvement to get to my service here with my service door. I think that'll really help me. So I'm going to be going ahead and I frame this in here. You can see that I put uh, this piece in here and this piece up in here was rotten. It was right here. This um, piece right here was rotten so I replaced it. And I'm using silicone where I joined two pieces together. And I'm going to show you guys. You now this piece down here was rotten. You can see um, back in here this stud that goes all the way down the length of the camper. It was rotten so I went ahead and did it this way and this um, board here it wedges really tight right in underneath of the other one so it's not going anywhere because it's wedged in there. It's kind of interlocked where it's, a, where it's a zigzag where you can see the joint between the two 
the, the two boards and I've got silicone and I'm going to use some more silicone. Okay, now this corner here was rotten and I removed it. You can see the new, um, the new board and the old. And so how this is made. And I'm going to seal that up with silicone and I put this metal brace. I spent $500 to get all the wood to rebuild this camper. So um, I'm going to use that brace here and that will really hold those two pieces of plywood together. So, And then I'm going to put another board here that will go all the way around. I'm going to frame up a... I'll show you what I'm going to do. It's raining today. It's really wet out here. I'm supposed to go into work today, but I think I'm going to take a day off, maybe. Oh, excuse me. So what I was thinking, on the back side of this board here, it's going to be um, framed all the way around. So this is going to be a one-piece panel with a, a wood framing around the excess door inside of this and this will be the um inside this will take the place of the paneling interior paneling so we'll have this is a little stronger and stiffer than interior paneling and it'll uh, the grain of the wood is going upward so it'll really be supportive in an upward sort of way so that'll be the supportive uh, area so i'll get i'll be right back wanted to share something with you all um this is the front area now there's been a few termites in here but you know i'm going to make a little access hatch here uh to get into here because you know these pipes in here um they might have to be replaced this thing here to be able to get into here and to you know do any work that may be need, need, needing to be done in here and this uh wood in here had termites and it was rotten and it did not have any structural any structural integrity okay this piece down here, this is your, you know, along the bottom that your jacks are mounted to, your main support uh, beam down uh, that goes down the length of the camper. I'm going to be patching that up and cutting this off and getting rid of any wood that had termites in it. So, And I want to put a nice uh, thick board up and down here and attach to this all the way up here to the base of your bed. So it will be supported again, so that will be more structural integrity. So I'm going to replace anything in here. Okay, I got my hole finished and prepped and ready for my door, and I'm going to make a bifold door that folds inward um, because if I fold it outward, then the hinge would be on the outside and someone could take the hinge loose and get in. So I'm going to have it fold inward. So that's how I'm going to do that. And here is the board. This piece was inside of here, and I wanted to let you see it. You can see how it looks where it's really just full of... You know, it's not really, doesn't have any structural integrity. So, um, I've got some scrap wood under here, and I've got some wood in the garage in there, so I can use that, and I'm going to go ahead and make this door now. Okay, now, everybody, this is almost the finished product you can see that this is the um, front piece i have put my corner pieces back on and i've used caulking the kind of caulking that i've used i know i didn't use a die cord or something like that for an RV, but this is meant for a house let's see if i can get this stuff turned around in this thing Instead of this caulking gun. Yeah. I'm not endorsing any product, okay? I'm not endorsing. I got it at the local home remodeling store. Caulk and seal your windows, doors, and siding. Big stretch, high performance, elastic sealing. So I used it on these corners here and here where I cracked this piece. I went ahead and sealed it and I cut this all the way down through here. It wasn't supposed to be cut, but this was a repair someone else had made already. This stuff is to be used in um, restaurant kitchens and public bathrooms and stuff, so it's not actually trailer siding. The siding that used to be on this camper, I know from pictures I've seen, is just like this. It's fiberglass corrugated siding. That's for an RV, and I've seen it on some Class A motorhomes that have this kind of siding on it. This is not aluminum siding, and it cracks easy. So this stuff cracked, I would imagine, 
and it was in an accident or rotten or whatever and they fixed it and they used this stuff on it. So I used these screws that came off my old sliding camper a long time ago um, to just go ahead and do this and I'm going to find some kind of edging to go around here and get some of this stuff. Maybe redo this front panel and get some more of this stuff to put over these doors and then a trim piece in the middle here. So this is the um, not quite finished product. I just got to fix this back the way it's supposed to go because you can see that I didn't get this all the way in the way it's supposed to be.